Hello. In this video, we're going to go over how to take a course from Angel Dev and bring it into a course on Angel Live. So, for example, you have been developing a course on Angel Dev for a new textbook and you need to move that course. You get it all done and you need to move it over to Angel Live. We're going to walk through those steps in this video. We're going to start by going to that course in Angel Dev, which is at angeldev.spcollege.edu. You can see it up here in the URL. Go into the course that you want to move, and you're going to start by exporting that course off of Angel Dev. So you're going to go into the course, you're going to click on the Management tab. You're going to click on Export Console to the far right hand side. You're going to click on Angel Format. And you're going to make sure that all these top checkboxes are checked. And you'll want to make sure to check General Information. Everything else should be checked, so we'll just um, leave the page as it is. Click Next. And you get taken to the Export Queued page. Now, once you get to this page, don't stay on it. Um, your, pro your export is processing, which depending on the course size and how many other people are exporting their courses at the same time, which of course goes up as we get closer to the start of the new term. You don't have to stay on this page or don't stay on this page actually. It won't do anything. It won't refresh when the export's done. You can leave the course. You can uh, log out of Angel. You can come back in 30 minutes. You can come back in three days. It doesn't matter. Just don't stay on this page. If you're really anxious for the to finish, and I always tell people give it 10 or 15 minutes at, at the minimum, Again, you can go outside of Angel, you can do other things while you're waiting for it, but give it 10 or 15 minutes. If you're very, very anxious, you can sit there and click on the Management tab. And this course is very, very small, so it exported very, very quickly. But what I tend to do is just click, keep clicking on the Management tab until I see this. The Export Successfully. Once I see this message, I know I can grab this export, so I'm going to click on Export Console. And I see the file name down here that I can download. So I'm going to click on that file name. And depending on which browser you're using, it may look a little bit different from this point on. Um, but I'm going to save this file to my computer. Click Save. Make sure you know where you saved it to, either your desktop, your documents, or just um, where you can find it again. You'll need to find it again. Okay. Once that file finishes downloaded, I am done on Angel Dev so I can log out. And then I want to go over to Angel Live. So I'm going to pause the video real quick. Okay. And here I am over on Angel Live, which is just angel.spcollege.edu. And I've got that file. I want to put that course into this course shell for the new semester. So I'm going to click on Management again. And then I'm going to click on Import Console to the far right hand side. I'm going to click on Content Package, click Browse, find that file that I just downloaded, so there it is, click on it, click Open, and then Upload File. Again, you get a little Upload File uh, box that will show you the progress. Depending on how large your course is, it may take several minutes for it to upload, but eventually you should get to the Step 2 which is select import options. You don't need to do anything on this page, just leave it like it is. Click Next. Okay. And again, we get this little yellow message. So um, your, your import's been queued. Um, while I'm doing this, there are two other items ahead of me. It just means two other courses are being imported at the same time as mine. So again, I can leave this course, I can log out of Angel, I can come back in 30 minutes, I can come back in three days, it doesn't matter. Um, I always recommend, of course, giving at least 10 or 15 minutes to uh, finish the processing, but don't stay on this page. Okay. Again, if you're very um, anxious to get it done, and this is what I do sometimes, you can just click, keep clicking on the Management tab to refresh it. Again, try to give it 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to pause the video while this imports. Okay, so I paused the video for about five minutes um, and refreshed the page every few minutes. And finally, I see this imported successfully message under the import console. Once you see this, you are good to go. You can look under your lessons, 
all your content should be there, your announcements, your syllabus, under management, your grade book, all that content should be there and you can start making changes, getting it ready for the new term.